hello guys welcome back to the yet another video in this video i will show you how to create the custom form in a drupal and we'll create a series of videos to explain you different functionality related to the custom forms so in this video first i will show you how to create the module and uh, in that custom module i will show you how to create the employee form with the employee data fields so in next video i will show you how to add the uh, validation for the employee forms input fields and we'll create the multiple videos with this functionality like store employee data in a database show employee data from database edit employee data delete employee data again uh, store employee data in a nodes and uh, create the report of the employee data search employee data by name and uh, bulk delete the employee data so for this video i consider as an employee uh, for the example so you can set means you can create this functionality for any module so first now we will create one custom module uh, to create the custom form for that uh, i will create the custom model using the dress generate so i have already created the video i will share the link for that also how to create the custom model programmatically but for this video i will create the custom model using the drush generate so command for that is uh, drush generate sorry command name so now we want to generate the model for that enter the model or if you want to see the all commands click here you will get the list of all commands here you can see the commands so now we want to create the custom model so for that uh, command is drug generate and the model okay now we will run this command and create one custom model drush generate model name the your model so i will create the model with the name as employee so machine name so i will keep the same machine name employee description so this model will save employee data in database package custom dependency no would you like to create the model file i don't want to create that would you like to create install file no would you like to create libraries no permission file no and uh, event subscriber no block plugin no controller no setting form no so here you can see uh, the one file is created for the model now i will go to my visual studio explorer in the models in custom you can see this employee module is created and uh, here the machine name of the model is employee type is model and a description package for extension core version requirements now uh, we will create one uh, custom form using the drug generate so before creating the custom form uh, using drug generate we need to install that model so i will install that model using uh, drush and en and uh, model name employee So this command will install that module now you can see the uh, module module is enabled successfully now we will create the one custom form in that module so for that uh, command is drush generate form now it will ask for the in which model we want to create that form 
so i will select the module name as the employee then next is the uh, what will be the class name of your form so class name of my form will be employee form then it is asking me to would you like to create the route for this form yes i will create the one route file to access this form what will the route name i will keep it is as it is uh, route path will change the route path to the employee data and uh, route title will be employee details permissions so guys i already explained all this in another video means how to create the route file what are the these parameters so you can check there those videos i will add the link of that video as well in the description so now you can see the two files are created first is the this employee form and uh, second is the employee.routing.yaml file so in this routing file uh, this will be the path on which we will access that form uh, and uh, these are the title of that form and uh, this is the form class path and the requirement i will show you the how this form is created so before that uh, i will clear the cache dash cr the cache is clear successfully now we will go to the that path the path is this employee data go to your website so this is the form which was uh, generated by the drush uh, generate command now we will update this form as per our requirements so i will show you that also and uh, one more thing uh, i will upload this all codes inside this uh, uh, git repo so that uh, you can refer or you can download this code or copy this code now go to change that form first we need to go to this uh, employee form which is available inside the form folders src form folder now remove remove or update these fields as per the our requirements so in the employee form we will create the four to five fields with the employee data first will be employee first name and the type of that field will be text field title will be uh, first name required true we will add one more attribute that is the max length we will add the max length up to 30 characters okay. now we will create the one uh, another field with the employee last name so change that field's name to the last name I can change here also required true max length is 30 we will add one more field so for that I can copy the same code paste here we will add the employee email id for that type will be the email and the title of the field is employee email id employee email max length will add up to 100 characters uh, next field and the next field as a employee zip code so that uh, field type will be the text field 
max length will be 6 okay so now we have created these four fields and uh, the these two are the for the buttons so, so we have added one more submit button and uh, text will we will change it to the save okay now we will remove these default validations we will explain you how to add the validation in the next video again clear the cache yeah the cache is cleared now now go to the web page and uh, refresh this page so that it will show you the all fields which we have created so you can see these are the fields we have added and uh, now I will add some data uh, first I will save this without adding the uh, anything so it will show you the this JavaScript default message okay now I will add some random data so we have taken the this field as an employee so it is asking us to add the valid uh, email id now this form will show you the one message that message we will change like current, right now it is showing this message the message has been sent we will change it to the employee data has been Save successfully. So right now we just added this message. We are not storing the data. So I'll again go to that page. So again say add some data and uh, submit this form so that it will show you the different message. First I will add the name, last name, email ID. Code. you can see here it is not accepting the more than six characters Four, five, six. now save it you can see the the message is different now employee data has been saved successfully so you can right now it is redirecting us to the, the front page we can change that uh, redirection or what on which uh, path we want to redirect after the form submission we can add that path here so I will explain you this form means what are the meaning of these functions uh, first we have created one first uh, we have created this namespace then we use these two core form classes form base and form interface then uh, this uh, this is the one class employee form class in that uh, there is one function and this function is the mandatory and uh, in that function we have uh, set the some form id the form id name is here employee underscore employee next function is the build form inside the build form we have added all these uh, form elements and uh, after that uh, function is the validate form in this form we will add the validations and the last one is the submit form uh, in this function we will uh, submit our data employee form data to the database that's it from this video i hope you like this video please subscribe the channel and uh, hit the like button